talk a little bit. Um, a little bit. We're going to talk about uh, how I study scripture and how I think that will help you guys study scripture, and that means the Bible. Uh, hi, Corey. Um, Corey's taking me. Everybody say hi, Corey, real quick. Hi, Corey. Thanks. Um, <laughs> so, this is not my height, so I'm just not going to use it. Um, one thing that I wanted to show you guys was this hat that I'm wearing. So if, Zion, if you could bring that up. Hit the go live button. Yeah! Yeah! There it is. Okay. And don't read my messages because I haven't yet, obviously. Um, so I made this hat for Laser X which we were supposed to go to last Wednesday, but as you all know, there was a flood. Um, so I decided to use it for the sermon instead. So I wrote all over this hat, like a ridiculous amount, actually, um, as you can see. So one thing, that first thing right there that says Barnabas, which is my nickname, um, and that's in Greek, because I like Greek. Um, and one thing that it reminds me of is to be an encouragement to other people. Um, so that's one thing that I, I kind of try to remind myself while I was using uh, this hat. And go to the next picture. And I believe, just click in the middle of the picture. No. Okay, fine. Um, Sean, I'm going to get it magically. Did you get it? Yeah! Okay. So right here on this part, um, it says... That's my first name, Christopher, in Greek again. Um, and Christopher, if you didn't know, is a really cool name, first of all. And it means follower of Christ, um, which is something to remind myself that I need to do every day, um, is to follow Christ and follow His will. Um, and 88, you'll find out what that means in a little bit. Uh, next one. Just click anywhere. Perfect. Okay. Um, and that is a verse that I really like. I do have it memorized, but I like to read it better. Uh, okay, I just want to make sure I hit the right first. It says, um, all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord, and he will give it all into your hands. Um, that's one thing for me personally to remember, and I just, I just made a big mess on the stage, awesome. Um, to remember in that it's not up to us all the time uh, to win for God. Yeah, we can talk to our friends about it, but it's ultimately up to God to do those things. So for me, it's, it's a good thing to remember that I need to rely on God and not try to do everything myself. Next picture is, aha, okay, so this is part of a creed um, that I found when I was, in, when I was your age, actually, um, that I kind of use as a, as a prayer. Um, to remind myself of, of where I should go uh, for God. And I wrote it all over this hat. So just go to the next one so they can read the next part of it. Um, this part is kind of my favorite. To be a hero, that's a big thing for me to remember. Um, God calls us to be adventuresome as humans um, and to be heroes for Him and really just do uh, His work. And it's also really cool for me to think that it's even possible to know the Creator, to know God intimately, to really to be a good friend of His, and to be for Him to be a good friend of ours as well. To really know Him and, and know what He wants with us. Um, and that on the bottom, I know some of you can't read that, but that says Yahweh um, in in the Hebrew language. They don't have vowels, so I wrote it without vowels. Um, that's why there's no vowels there. All right, click the next one. Okay, and that is where the 8-8 on the front comes from. Um, Romans 8-8 eight, eight says, uh, those living by the sinful nature do not please God. And for me personally, um, in case you can't tell, and in case you didn't know how cool I am, I rap. Um, and sometime this year, you will hear it, I guarantee it. Um, especially if you go to camp, where we will be rapping a lot. Um, 
And for me, that was one thing that I needed to remember is that um, I, I would love to please God. And if, I, if I'm not living in a pleasing way to Him, I'm not really living up to my own full potential. So that's one thing that I wanted to remember, so I put it on the hat. Quick, there's one more, I think. Unless I didn't take a picture of it. Yeah, okay, and you can't even see it, so that's perfect. Um, on the inside, this part of my hat, um, so whenever I take it off, I can usually see it. Um, it says, uh, it's a reminder for me of a, of a missionary that I met, and really, really the reason that I decided to become a pastor. Um, there's a man that I met, and one thing that he would do whenever he prayed, um, he would almost always cry. And it wasn't, he wasn't sad, he was like super happy, um, which was kind of a neat thing for me to see. Um, so that's just one thing that I'm trying to use to remember. But now getting to the point of why I'm dressed this way is because this is extremely comfortable for me to be not wearing the dress clothes I was wearing during first service. Um, and like, like Corey's wearing a button down, which is his kind of comfort usually. He usually wears nice clothes and I, I can't pull it off. Um, I just, I like wearing t-shirts. I like wearing hoodies, I like wearing jeans, and I'm wearing these awesome shoes in case you didn't see. Um, but for one thing that I wanted you guys to get out of this is when we study scripture, in case you missed the beginning, um, when we study scripture, one thing that we need to remember is to be comfortable with what we're studying. I don't want you guys to get this, get out of this and think, okay, I need to go read the whole Bible in a year. Don't do that. It's not very helpful. Now also, don't go to your parents and say that I told you not to read the Bible, because that's not what I'm saying. Um, but don't just read it like you would a story for fun. Pick something that means something to you. Pick one story. Learn it really, really well. Um, you know, get, cause, I mean, you can read the same story 500 times and not get everything out of it that you should get out of it, or that you could get out of it. Um, so that's, that's really one. You can go back to the normal slide, the first fusion slide, you don't need to add that up there anymore. Um, but that's really one thing that I wanted you guys to get out of this, is, is really just pick something like I did for me um, with Romans. Um, you know, pick one story, pick one aspect, learn it really well, memorize it if you can. I have the verses that are on my hat, I have them memorized. Um, but that's, that's really one thing that it's good to do because one, when, other, when your friends, because how many of you have friends that aren't Christians? Do you know? Okay, so about half of you. Um, probably more of you if you really think about it. But one thing that it's good to, to know is certain stories, you know, when your friends ask you, you know, why are you a Christian? Think of those kind of verses. Um, you know, verses like like this next one. Uh, can you bring up that Bob Gateway verse that's on there? I could just stand up here all day and talk about whatever, and none of you could stop me. That's perfect. Um, so scroll down so it's kind of up in the middle, the verse. Can you do that? OK, so these, these are really important verses. This is a verse that I have been trying to memorize the exact words for, but I have to admit that. Um, these are the two most important commandments that, that Jesus ever gave us. Uh, saying, he loved the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Now, that's super important to remember because, I mean, God himself told us that those are the two most important commandments. Uh, so remembering things like that are obviously important as Christians as we think about uh, where God wants us. And can you think, I think there's one more that I put on there. You can make that go up. Uh, yeah, and here and here's another reason that it's important to study scripture. Um, how can a young man keep his way pure by living according to your word? And that goes for young women too. Um, I know it says men, but it goes for you ladies as well. Uh, one thing that, again, going back to my Romans verse, we want to please God, right? I mean, like. Displeasing God's kind of not a good idea. Um, so one way that we can do that by keeping our way pure is to study His Word. 
Um, and not just on Wednesday night and not just Sunday morning here in small group or whatever. Go home. If you don't have a Bible, if you have the internet, you can go here. Um, or you can, we can find you a Bible, I'm sure. Um, but just, you know, look in the table of contents. Find a story that you liked, that you've heard in Sunday school or something. And learn as much as you can about it. It's pretty important. It's kind of fun as well. Um, and really, that's kind of all I have today. Oh, also, uh, if you could go to the calendar, because I totally forgot to go to the calendar. And I'm sorry. I tried to make it go in order, but then I forgot the order myself. Should be like right under the songs. So we have some things coming up that I wanted you guys to know about. As well as, because Laser X was canceled last week, if any of you guys want to go, or ladies as well, I'm sorry, I say guys meaning everyone, I'm from Minnesota and that's how we talk. Um, if any of y'all want to go to Laser X, yes, thank you. Um, I want to go to Laser X this Thursday, not Wednesday like we normally hang out, but Thursday. Um, let me know. I'll get your names and your numbers and your Facebook, whatever, um, after some longer, and we'll set that up if any of you want to go do that. So right now we're just going to kind of split up into small groups. And oh yeah, okay. So here's here's all this stuff that's going on soon. Okay, so Houston is till Thursday. Um, so really, that's why we're, we're waiting till Thursday. That's one reason. As well as I have to leave Wednesday with the little kids, so that's why I can't hang out with you guys. Um, also, next Sunday, so not today, but the next Sunday. In case you didn't know, every Sunday we're playing volleyball uh, down in Landon Park. So if you want to do that, it's pretty cool. Um, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Good and question. That's and that's also Father's Day, so go hang out with your dad first, and then come to volleyball. Uh, bring your dad. That'd be cool. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so really, that's all that's coming up next. Um, there's also bowling next Wednesday, um, so not this upcoming Wednesday, but the next one. So that's just something to think about. Um, tell your parents, you know, you can't mow the lawn that day because you're hanging out with the church. So. Uh, right now we're just going to split into small groups. Um, after small groups, if you want to go to Laser X, let me get your name, number, Facebook, whatever, um, so I can contact you and let you know what time we're going to do that. All right. Have a good day. If you go to camp.